welcome to my October favorites. These past few weeks, I've been applying this every single day. I like that they have a little strap at the end. I think I wore this sweater every single day. Hello everyone, it's Carly. Welcome here back to my channel and welcome to my October favorites. I cannot even believe that October is over. I don't know where it went. It's my favorite month. Not my favorite favorite, but my second favorite month and it just flew by. So I hope that you guys had a great month and I'm excited to share some of my favorites, some of the things I loved this past month. And I'm just looking forward to chatting with you guys. I'm in my office. We have a little bit of a different setup, which I think will work nicely hopefully and yeah i'm excited to get into it so if you enjoy favorites videos i would love for you to give this video a like as well as subscribe if you're new to my channel i'd love to have you here for the next video and let's jump right in my first couple of things are beauty related so i thought i'd start with a foundation that i've been loving at the beginning of the month i actually ran out of my fenty foundation and i kind of just got lazy one day and didn't want to run out or order anything so then I was like okay I'll just use what I already have and see if there's anything that like can kind of work in the meantime for me so then I found this Revlon photo ready candid natural finish foundation and it's so like almost gone you can see I had this like in the back of my makeup vanity and I was like I'll just give it a try it looks like kind of a good color for me right now and I love the way that this applies um, it's such a random I feel like foundation not a lot of people that I've seen talk about it but it's really pretty it's just a nice natural finish it's not too matte it's not too dewy perfect um, right in the middle for you and I just really loved the way it lasts all day it feels really nice on my skin and it's just a nice easy drugstore foundation which I feel like I always want to highlight because I love when I find a good one at the drugstore so I just kind of tried it on a whim because it was all I had that day and it carried me throughout October as you can see I've like nearly finished it and I loved it so I thought that I would highlight this because it was very random but ended up being something that I really loved and then next is a lip product which is kind of different for me I have like my two favorite lipsticks you guys know I love the Ulta lipstick in barely there that's what I wear every single day I also have like I think it's Revlon or L'Oreal um, I'll have to look but it's the JLo collection one I love that one but then randomly I picked this one up and I was like oh this is another thing that I bought in the summer thinking that it would be really great for the summer and I kind of just stuck to my two favorite lipsticks and didn't try it and then um, these past few weeks I've been applying this every single day and I love it it's what I have on my lips right now it's the perfect fall lipstick so I'll tell you what it is it's the ColourPop just a tint in the shade gimme s'more and I love this so much. Like I was saying, it's the perfect fall lip because it's not too brown, but it has a little bit of brown in there, which I think nicely carries me into like fall and winter. And it's very comfortable on my lips. Um, it's kind of like a, more like a cream um, lipstick. It's not super matte at all um, and not super like shiny and glossy. So it's right in the middle, perfect cream lipstick. And it's a nice lip crayon. So I find that it's just an easy application. It's like pretty chunky. I just throw it on and easy for everyday wear. Like I said, very comfortable color pop. So it's very affordable. And yeah, I've just been liking the little switch up from my other two faves. So I'll have this link down below as well for you guys, as well as everything else if you would like to shop any of this for yourself but this has been a huge favorite of mine and I'm excited I love when I find a new lip product that gets me excited and just works really well for me now my next category is fashion favorites and I have a couple here to share with you guys if you watched a couple of my videos my Amazon Prime one and I'm sure like what I wear in a week I had these on and I talked about these slippers they are my new favorite I love slippers all the time but especially in the fall and winter they just keep your feet all nice and cozy and we have tile downstairs so I don't know I don't want to be like in my little bare feet um, so these came in perfectly I got them on Amazon Prime Day and they're just like a great dupe for the UGG like little slippers that everyone has um, if you're lucky enough to have those I guess but I've been seeing these pop up everywhere on a lot of influencers pages and everyone was raving about them so on Amazon Prime Day I decided to pick some up in the little fluffy pink and I love them so much I like that they have a little strap at the end um, sometimes I feel like it's kind of annoying so I just want to like slip my foot in but for the most part it's super comfortable the strap like isn't too tight around your ankle at least for me 
I got a seven and a half, which is my normal shoe size, and they're not too big for me. They fit really nicely, so like pretty true to size. Um, and yeah, the strap's very comfortable. It's kind of cute and different. Um, so I don't know. I think they're really fun and different and a different way to do a slipper with the strap. And yeah, I'm just so happy with them. They make me so happy in the morning, and I pretty much wear them all day long. Okay, this next favorite, nobody will be surprised because I think I wore this sweater every single day the last two weeks of October <laughs> because that's when I got it. But it is my Halloween Town University crew neck. I was obsessed with this. I don't know why. I think I'm just in that stage right now. Obviously, I'm wearing like a sweater today. It's just, I like being very cozy and especially this time of year, it's cold here in Utah. It's only going to get colder. So I just like wearing comfy clothes, especially now that I work from home. It's like, why am I even trying? So when I found this, I was like, oh, that'd be so cute to have for like Halloween since we're not really going to go out anywhere. I thought that this was going to be like my Halloween costume, but this basically was my only outfit for two weeks. And if you watch the vlogs, if you watch the videos, I always was wearing this. <laughs> so I just love it. It's from a really sweet Etsy shop. And um, originally I had some like issues with like the lettering, but she was able to send me a new one. And this one I've washed and washed and nothing has happened, which makes me really happy. And it's just so cute. I don't know. I love Halloween town and I love anything fall and October -y and Halloween. And so I just thought it'd be fun to have each year. So now I have two, um, but yeah, now I can't wear this anymore and I know it's not a good time to buy it, but I just couldn't make this video without sharing this sweater because I pretty much wore it every single day and I just love it. It makes me so happy. So this will stay in my closet until next year. And I am kind of one of those people who like treats this as like, yeah, like a seasonal item. Like I will not be wearing this anymore because it's just exciting to pull it out next year. So I was happy to have it and I kind of want to get more for Christmas. So I might make a purchase so I have it a little bit longer and at the start of the month because I only wore this for two weeks. So I really did have to get my <laughs> get my money's worth with it, but I'll have it linked down below. It's so cute and she has lots of other different things um, as well as sweaters. So if you're interested in this, I think they're really cute. My next category is books and I have been trying to read 24 books this year. Like that's my goal to read 24 books and I'm currently on like 19 so I need to just pick up the pace. <laughs> um, so I'm hoping that I can finish a lot of books um, these next two months to really get me to that goal. But anyway, I thought that I would share um, the book that I read for October basically. So it is a favorite of mine. I did really enjoy this book um, but yeah, I just wanted to share a monthly book with you guys. So in October, I read Becoming by Michelle Obama, and it was such a great book. I will say it's a hefty read. It was like four, let me see. So it was 421 pages, so a very big read, <laughs> and it did kind of take me a while. Like I barely finished at the end of October, um, but I really enjoyed this. I learned a lot from her, uh, just about politics and about her experience in the White House, and it was just really cool to read a book like this. I've never read any um, First Lady's book. I don't know if there's many out there, but I've never read one, um, a book about a president, nothing like that. So it was really fun to read. I'm a huge fan of her, and Brock like they're just I just love them okay I just love them and so it was really fun to read and yeah just learn little bits about her life before during and after politics I just really found it interesting she does go into great detail um, just about a lot of stuff so I felt like in some parts of the book if I'm being honest it was a little bit like okay let's get this going um but you really do get to know her her and her whole life and her family um and i just really loved it so i've yeah it's no surprise i'm a big fan of her i love her podcast and now i read her book um so anyway yeah it's just a really great read if you haven't read this book i definitely recommend it and it will just inspire you it made me want to go to college but then i was like i can't go to college <laughs> but she just i feel really bad that i haven't been to college and that's like her big thing so i just felt bad the whole time reading the book but there's also a documentary on Netflix all about um, her journey writing this book and touring it and stuff like that, which is really cool to read um, in partner with the book. So I found that it was like really fun. Um, but yeah, lots of cool little facts and um, lots of great stories about her life and her growing up and just 
all that she's achieved. I think it's a huge inspiration to so many women out there and I just really enjoyed it. So I wanted to highlight it because it was a great book to read. It was a long book to read, but I'm really happy I finished it. My next category is like TV and entertainment. I thought that I would throw in podcasts, but I don't really have a new one for you guys. So I just figured we'd go straight into TV. <sighs> And I've been loving TV in October. So the two shows that I'm watching every single week are Dancing with the Stars and The Great British Bake Off. And that's kind of all that I watch. I'm hoping now that I'm adding this like genre into my new um, monthly favorites that I watch more TV. I don't know. Mean fashion gets so stuck in our ways and we always just watch The Office. So anyway, I'm excited to have two shows to talk to you guys about, but the first one is Dancing with the Stars. I have been watching this for years and years and years with my mom and my sister and we just love it. So the last probably like three years, maybe I haven't watched it, which is really bad, but I just, I don't know. I was like living on my own. I didn't have like cable TV um, or like I just don't know, I wasn't watching it. And then this year, I don't know what made me watch it because the cast is good, um, but it wasn't like I was obsessed over the cast. There wasn't anyone that I was like, oh, I need to watch them on this show. Um, but I just decided I'll watch it this year. And of course my favorite, Jeannie Mai, um, is someone that I really love on Instagram. So I wanted to watch for her. But the person that has completely taken over me, which I did not expect this because I've never really been too big of a fan of the show, is Neve. I love him. If you guys know Catfish, then you'll probably know who he is. He, I did not even think about him and didn't really know him um and he's so good and i love him and i'm just rooting for him so now i'm so invested and i watch it every single week with my mom it's kind of like our little tradition and it's really fun so it's kind of been nice to have something to like look forward to each week so if you are looking for a new show it's kind of hard because i like to watch it when it's like obviously live so maybe next year just set your calendars watch with me i would love to chat with you about it it's just like my favorite show ever so I thought that I would highlight that because I've been really enjoying it. It's still going on. Um, but yeah, I just loved it in October. It was really fun to go to my mom's every week. And then the second show is a show that I watch with Sebastian. We love The Great British Bake Off. I showed that to him years ago. And ever since then, he's been so in it with me. He loves it. We have a sweet little couple friend that loves it with us too. It's just so, it's the best show. If you haven't ever seen it, it's on Netflix. I recommend watching every single season. It's so cozy and comforting and just like great TV. Like it makes you laugh. It makes you cry. You root for them. It's just the best. I will say you always have to have a little sweet nearby because it's torture to watch that show and not have anything to like snack on. Um, but yeah, we've really been loving it. I mean, Sebastian will watch it on Netflix. It comes out every single Friday. So we watch it on Netflix on Friday, sometimes on Saturday mornings. And it's just been our little weekend ritual. We love it so much. Sadly, my favorite person went home. Uh, this last week, which was so devastating. This is what's so hard about like reality TV shows like this. I don't know if it's reality, but you know what I mean. When it's like competitive shows, I hate it because I get so invested and I love them. And I was nervous about Dancing with the Stars, but my fave has been, you know, at the top. Um, and then with The Great British Bake Off, my favorite left. So you guys will have to let me know if you watch as well and if you were devastated about Mark leaving too because I loved him. So those have been a couple shows that we've really been loving each week and it's fun. It's fun to look forward to a little show. And so yeah, I thought that I would share those with you guys. And then the last category that I wanted to share is like food or snack stuff. And so I loved the snack through October. It was the first time that I ever tried this snack and it literally changed my life. It's so, so good. I'm a little upset that I don't have the side to this main snack, but you can just use your imagination and just run out and get it. So during October, I wanted to watch all of my favorite Halloween movies. It's just something that I love doing each October and I wanted to do it with like fun snacks. And so I saw on Jaclyn Hill's Instagram a while ago that she like makes um, popcorn at home and then she like puts Reese's Pieces in her popcorn and then it like melts and it's like this amazing treat and i have been loving jacqueline hill whenever she talks about snacks i know that they're going to be good because she just is like the snack queen so i tried it and it was amazing so i get the orville redenbacher's movie theater butter popcorn so good 
so good and then just like she says you make the popcorn and then I add all of my little Reese's pieces to them and then you let it sit in the bowl and they get all melty and then you have it with like your butter salty popcorn and then that little peanut butter chocolate hint it is so amazing the only thing that I will say that's tricky that means fashion have not been able to figure out is when you make the popcorn and you put the candy in the candy all like falls to the bottom eventually and so then you're eating all this popcorn and you have to literally dig down to get the candy so we're not too sure how we need to fix this but that has become my favorite fall snack it's just the best to cuddle up and watch a movie and have this snack I loved it so yeah I don't have any Reese's pieces with me but we have a couple things we literally have two more things of popcorn and I don't know it's just like my favorite new snack so you have to let me know if you've tried it and if you haven't I definitely recommend it and then the last food thing is not anything I can share but it's like a food account which I still think is very similar and very important and it is Half Big Harvest if you haven't heard of her she has an amazing Instagram Pinterest blog um, all about food and her recipes and I recently was introduced to her uh, I think through like YouTube videos I can't remember how I found her but someone was like making her recipes and then would just like keep mentioning her and so I was like I'm gonna look it up and we have been loving her recipes she has like super easy yummy but like different recipes if that makes sense like it uses ingredients in different ways that I haven't done and it's just we're always really loving her recipes so I thought that I would shout her out because I'm always looking for ways to like spruce up our dinners and stuff like that it can just get really boring and we get into like our little habits of our two to three dinners <laughs> that like I know how to make and I make on rotation but I don't know introducing her like blog and all of her recipes into our dinners has been so fun and we really really loved them so I will link just her main blog down below but stay tuned for Thursday's video on my channel here because I'm gonna be sharing a little challenge that I did with myself making only her recipes for an entire week it was really fun and really delicious and I think you guys will really love it so that will give you more like details of the recipes that we chose to try and I'll share a little more about how we enjoyed them um, but yeah down below is just like her main blog so take a look around it's really exciting it's just a beautiful blog so I've been loving it so that is gonna do it for my October favorites I can't believe October is over but it was such a fun month and it was fun to share what I've been enjoying and loving with you all subscribe to my channel because there's going to be future monthly favorites. I'm going to do them every single month now. I love them and I think they're a fun way to catch you guys up on everything I'm loving and all of that stuff. But don't forget to give the video a huge thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. I will see you guys back here for a brand new video really soon. Bye!